Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to the Super Jesus Jackson channel. It is I, your host, Super Jesus Jackson. Who the else? Thank you so much for joining me today on another installment of Things That Give Me Chills. Uh, as, I, as I'm sure you see in the title of this video, we're going to be talking about Man of Steel. Okay, I figured this day would come. Okay, Superman, Zack Snyder, all the good shit. But really... To talk about the trailer that started it all. And for some fucking reason, this was at a time when Warner Brothers was naming their trailers like numerically. So this was trailer number three, the final trailer for Man of Steel. And it is the best trailer. It is probably one of the best trailers you will ever see in your life. I would say this is easily the greatest superhero trailer of all time. But Zack Snyder, my friends, he came in and completely fucking just... just everything that you thought you knew about Superman, he still has it in this movie. And then he just fucking kind of flipped it on its head. Just a tiny bit. You know, before this, we got Superman Returns, which is a whole other thing that I want to talk about at some point in my channel. Superman Returns was not at all what we thought of Superman to be. I mean, you know, he wasn't punching anyone. It was not... This wasn't the, the, the conventional superhero movie. Man of Steel would come in and not only have the emotion and uh, kind of the philosophical aspects of Superman in the movie, but it would also have the action part. It would still fulfill you as a comic book fan or as a fan of just superhero slugging. You know what I mean? Like, and this was it. Zack Snyder fucking killed it. There was no other person that could have done this better than Zack Snyder. He had honored fucking Watchmen. He had honored 300 and Man of Steel was just the perfect movie for him to direct. Here we go, guys. We're going to react and analyze to Man of Steel official trailer three. Here we go. Goodbye, my son. My hopes and dreams travel with you. You'll be an outcast. I'll kill him. How? He'll be a god to them. What if a child dreamed of becoming something other than what society had intended? What if a child aspired to something greater? My son was in the bus. He saw what Clark did. You're the answer, son. You're the answer to are we alone in the universe. Can I just keep pretending I'm your son? You are my son. And I have to believe that you were sent here for a reason. And even if it takes the rest of your life, you owe it to yourself to find out what that reason is. How do you find someone who has spent a lifetime covering his tracks? For some, he was a guardian angel. For others, a ghost who never quite fit in. You will give the people of Earth an ideal to strive towards. They will race behind you. They will stumble. They will fall. But in time, they will join you in the sun. In time, you will help them accomplish wonders. You believe your son is safe? I will find him! father believed if the world found out who I really was, it'd reject me. He was convinced that the world wasn't ready. What do you think? What's the S stand for? It's not an S. On my world, it means hope. Well, here it's an S. How about... Excuse me.
God damn it. God fucking damn it. Oh my fucking god. Oh god. Okay. Jesus. Look. Look, 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 look. Here's the thing, okay? Here's the fucking controversy, okay? This fucking trailer, very fucking epic, uh, heroic as fuck, Hans Zimmer, oh my god, do I mention Hans Zimmer, the soundtrack? Oh my god. So, uh, it's it, it seems very kind of happy, kind of epic, right? And in, in a kind of a more, on the leaning more on the positive side, right? And then you watch the movie, and it's a two hour and 22 minute long movie, where you feel kind of like, what am I supposed to be feeling here? This Superman is not this heroic guy. Like, for like fucking 80% of the movie. In terms of, I know he's heroic, he saves a lot of people. What I mean is, and he does smile, okay, I'm not one of those fuckers. What I'm saying is, it's just not the typical kind of, you know, comic booky Superman that we're used to. There's so much shit, you know, and... If you watch this movie and you were like, fuck, like, I don't know what to feel, like, this, that was the point, you know what I mean? And you were supposed to then fucking drive home and it takes you, like, three months to figure out what Zack Snyder really was trying to do. Look, all I know is that, yes, it was jarring. It, it was a little bit hard to gulp the fact that this trailer was, the tone of it was a little bit m different than the movie. But here's why I ultimately think they are one and the same in many ways. The trailer has this fucking epic, you know, epicness to it, which the movie is epic. That is a fact. Um, it, it has a very kind of alien-y science fiction aspect to it, which the movie is science fiction. Like, the movie is, in fact, the fucking... Right now, I'm looking at it, Man of Steel 2013 science fiction. Even though the, the movie itself is not as heroic as this trailer makes it out to be... In terms of heroic and just, a, da, 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 you know, truth, justice, and the American way. That's what I mean. Like, you know, it, it, the movie in general as a whole, as a whole package, and really what it was trying to do, feels like this trailer. It feels like this is what we're striving for. And we know from the very moment, Jor-El, what he's saying, what he says to Superman, in time, they will join you in the sun. It is, it is a process. It is a journey. You know what I mean? And... I see myself in Superman. This is Superman to me. Like, for this time, this is Superman now, you know? And that's just the truth, you know what I mean? Like, and it's evolution, man. You know, it's what it is. If I was fucking in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s, I'd be singing a different tune. But we're in 2023, too. <laughs> and I respect the past, and now I'm embracing the future. And... This, to me, is the Superman that I feel connected with. Superman is a metaphor. He is a, a, a beacon to strive towards. He is not necessarily a character. He is an ideal. That is what makes him so grand and so relatable, is because he's not relatable to us. Because he's an ideal that we strive towards, that we can all shoot for. And when I... When I see this trailer, that's, you know, he's a ghost. You know what I mean? He doesn't ever quite really fit in. That's your experience. That's my experience. He, but he's also filled with great potential. From the very beginning, he has all the seeds in him to have great potential. That inspires the fuck out of me because I look at that in my own life. Look at it in your life. All the great things that you have in your life that you're like, I could use that to my advantage. You know? Those are, those are your genetics, your powers, you know? If we want to think about it in metaphors, you know what I mean? Like, also, I will say, all-star cast, at the time... I didn't realize how fucking great this cast was, but now that I've seen movies like Dances with Wolves, Gladiator, I'm like, holy fuck. You got a movie about Superman with Russell Crowe, Kevin Costner, Amy Adams, Lawrence Fishburne. Bro, what the f Oh my god. That's fucking incredible. Absolutely incredible. Like, does it really get any better than that, bro? Like, this- that tells you right there. This is- this is some good shit right here. Oh my god! You got Russell Crowe as Jor-El and- and- and Kevin Costner as Jonathan Kent? Fuck. This trailer is Superman, okay? Man of Steel is Superman. And, of course, the hilarious part is that towards the end of Man of Steel, it's super heroic. And then, uh, Batman v Superman comes in to just say, Eh, not so fast! And that's what I love about it. It does all the typical shit that a trailer's supposed to do, of course. You know, goes with the music. 
you know, goes with the percussion of the music, the fucking, oh, obviously, this is the best thing too, well, this is one of the best things of the trailer, is the, 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 the journey that it has, it starts off super slow with the piano, it builds up, builds up, builds up, builds up, and then boom, we get fucking Superman flying, we get all the fucking cinematics going, bro, we get all that shit, and it just fucking just, oh, just comes into my body, and just makes me fucking jiggle. I'm pretty sure I fucking just, I, I want to say much more shit, um, but this movie legitimized Superman. This movie solidified Superman as the greatest superhero of all time. This is what makes Superman great. This is, it's a masterpiece. All the things that this trailer has, the movie has. Ultimately, Man of Steel and this trailer fully speak to each other at the end of the day as to what Superman truly is, because Man of Steel, believe it or fucking not, is inspiring as fuck, hopeful as fuck, inspiring. I already said that, but it is. But anyways, those are my thoughts. Man of Steel, official trailer three. Greatest fucking movie, uh, or greatest superhero movie of all time. Don't fucking crucify me. Um, but that's it for me. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if you didn't. Tell me how, how many times I'm wrong in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content. Uh, please share with your Snyder-loving friends if you will. But that's it for me. You guys take care. Stay safe. And until next time, I love you. Oh, and don't forget, I got a podcast. If you like me, if you want to hear more of me, that's where you can get it. Chips and Talk, link down below. Have a good one, guys.